All right, uh, good morning, good afternoon, good evening, uh, ladies and gentlemen. Of course, I'm glad that you're tuned in and you're watching a quick 24 hour. And welcome to today's program. Of course, we are having what is called the Dr. Shamba Show. And in Dr. Shamba Show, we always ensure that uh, we not only connect you with stories, but we also connect you with solutions. I know most of you uh, have gone through a lot when you want maybe to buy land or in instances whereby when somebody dies and there's some property that needs to be inherited, people normally get confused and sometimes they end up getting in the hands of prey, uh, people who end up conning them and they end up losing property. That is why we came up with this program to ensure that we give you some informed information that will enable you navigate through land ownership and transfer matters. So, karibuni sana, karibuni sana, kwaisho. And as I welcome you, I just want to tell you that if you are joining me for the first time and you've not subscribed to our channels, ensure that you subscribe to Afrique 24 Hour so that you don't miss this program that will be coming to you weekly so that you can get informed. So with me, I'm having Reverend James and I'm also having Engineer Florence Mora. So the two uh, a gentleman and lady are going to steer us and take us through what it involves in land ownership and transfers. I know if you are not a first time uh, a viewer, uh, these are faces that you are used to. We started the program, but uh, uh, died to unavoidable circumstances. We were not able to continue, but I'm glad to announce to you that we are fully back and each and every week you will always have an opportunity to interact with these brilliant Kenyans. Let me take this opportunity to welcome uh, you guys to this show. Uh, I know you've been here before, but it's been a long time. People have really missed you. People have really missed this kind of program. So I'll take this opportunity to allow you just to say hello and maybe say some greetings uh, to fellow Kenyans from wherever they are before we proceed with today's program. So I'll start with the uh, uh, Reverend Karibu Sana. Ah, Santi Sana, but uh, Leo, uh, it's always uh, a joy and a privilege for me to, uh, to be under your directorship. Uh, you are such a bri brilliant man here with uh, the directorship of this program, and uh, it's always uh, uh, good to have you. Uh, thank you also for Kunipatia Nafasi, Ku Pasalimia. Uh, watu wetu. And uh, I greet you all katika jina la Bwana. Na ningesema ya kwamba, unfortunately, kama vire director vitu wamesema, tumekua tukingoja to resume on this very, very, very important uh, program. I've just come from uh, Kenya, back in the US, and uh, some of the issues I was dealing with, being very busy, Ni haya 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 mamba na mashamba. And uh, I was faced with a situation where we have to decide um, on the area of uh, getting uh, land to settle some of our beneficiaries on uh, one of the programs uh, that is in Liftibari. So everywhere I go, we're dealing with the issues of yeah, mashamba. So it's not a new thing. It's, uh, it's uh, something that we will have, we have lived with. We are going to live with, uh, and we. Uh, I'm very glad that uh, we have this program. I like the name, Doctor Shamba. Doctor uh, Yuamasham. Thank you, Banalel. Asante sana, asante sana, Reverend, and feel uh, most welcome. It is glad that uh, you came to Kenya and you really interacted with people and you saw the need and uh, how confused and uh, how worried some are when it comes to these issues to deal with the land. I yes. it's really depressed many, many have lost property mm -hmm. and many have found themselves homeless simply because uh, they didn't get an opportunity to interact with experts like what we are having right now in this forum. So Karibu Sana, Engineer Mora, uh, just say hi uh, uh, to the viewers and maybe you can uh, brief them on what they can expect in today's session. Yeah, good morning, good afternoon, um, viewers, wherever they are and where they are listening. Also, 
Good evening, Mr. Leo, and uh, good morning, Mr. James. Um, I'm glad that we are here again. Uh, we went on the session and uh, now we are back. And um, I'm glad that we are back. And I keep on saying that uh, knowledge is power. And when you have it, you can drive anything. But if you have no knowledge, you can't even ask a question what you don't know. Because if you don't know, you don't know. But when you know, you can ask a question so that you can get the answers. So we are here to um, uh, enlighten um, the public on um, what happens with the land. We may not be able to solve the issue, but we are touching on the very, very key important issues. Because like in Kenya, like every news, you will see something to do with the land and it has been really getting into an escalation um, mode because uh, people are you know, getting everyday things and they even um, sons and uh, fathers, they are killing each other. Um, like I have um, a very recent story that I was listening to just last night where a father was almost killing the son because uh, he doesn't want the son home because he doesn't want to give him a piece of land. Mm -hmm. And because the son is not working, he's like, he doesn't want to know where that boy will go. He doesn't care. So he beat him one day, the second day, the third day, and the fourth day. And these people came to get him from the house because he was, he was almost killing him. So he was beating him the first day and telling him, I don't want to see you here. Then next day he comes and he finds the boy is still there because the boy doesn't have money, doesn't have anything, doesn't have where to go. Mm -hmm. And now the father told him that um, I, I am not your father. And the mother died in 2014. And now the father is telling even the public that this is not my son. And the son is behind me as well. And uh, he, he has a family, but the family is not together with him because he has nothing to give the family and the father does not want to give him a piece of land. Yeah. And so this is what we are dealing with every day. Every day. So I hope today as we share on, um, on succession, you know, succession is the key uh, to yeah. everything that we are doing. If you want to sell a piece of land, you must have had the title of that land and you cannot have that title unless you have done succession. If you have a title without the succession, it's a fake title because already the name of the deceased is still in the files and you cannot transact a file with the name of a deceased person so why are we getting the succession done we are getting the succession done because we want everything the property of the deceased to change name to the beneficiary so when transacted you are not transacting a name of a, a deceased person so today we will uh, went around there and i know as we have come back we are going to be there like quickly to be able to move on to other areas yes thank you thank you thank you thank you uh engineer and maybe i can see some people already joined us master tune is saying i like the show kevin wasonga very loud and clear of course guys if you're joining me for the first time and you've not subscribed to our channel ensure you subscribe to our free 24 hour so that you can always be able to get this kind of counsel free of charge you only need to have internet then all the way from uh, united states of america uh, people are coming because they feel what people go through back in the country and even kenyans in diaspora i know you are the people who are majorly uh, casualties in such kind of things because you're abroad you're working hard you send money for somebody to buy your land then when you come back they give you a title that never had uh, succession so at the end of the day you find that you are sweat you are working to buy maybe a piece of land then you came you come back home you find that this land is inexistent or this land belongs to somebody else so to avoid such kind of regrets i think it is important that you tune into this kind of program so that you can get informed and just to remind you uh, for those people who are meeting engineer mora for the first time engineer mora is uh, 
an expert in land issues and before she went out in the country she worked with the Ministry of Lands for over 30 years so when she is giving you the advice or the process she's speaking of something that she interacted with and did as her duties uh, same to reverend james is also an investor back in the country who invested in real estate and you know when you invest in real estate and such kind of things you are likely to interact with the ministry of land mm -hmm. you're likely to interact with this kind of departments eh? so just as we start i just want as a, a engineer to help our viewers understand what is succession you know somebody is asking what is succession eh? maybe they think it is success to, to succeed or maybe get something good <laughs> What is succession? <laughs> yeah. Um, yeah, succession um, is actually to take the property or the titles from the person who has deceased or died so that they are in the hands of the beneficiaries who may be the wife, who may be the children or the grandchildren. So this is um, property, the process of transferring property from a person who has died so that the name of the person who has died can change. And now the people who, are, who benefit from that, the property or the titles or wherever the person had, they can now have their names in place of the person who has died. So this is just a simple process of transferring from a deceased person to the beneficiaries who are alive. Mm. Uh, that's great. Uh, as you've heard, the viewers, succession is when you now have to transfer uh, the property from deceased to people who are alive. So does it mean that it has to be done, you transfer to maybe family members or anything, or even if you transfer to somebody who is not related to the disease or maybe somebody who just want to buy the property, is it still called succession? For example, I want to get uh, land that belongs to reverend uh, here to reverend is not my uh, family member we don't uh, come from the same family and such kind of things is that one still called succession uh, no succession according to the uh, land law of kenya must be to the beneficiaries who first is the wife if the wife is alive if the wife is not alive, then the children, if the children are not there or wherever, whichever reason, then the grandchildren. So it has to go through the tree of the family. It cannot be done by an uncle or an auntie. Um, they have, they follow, they follow the, the channel um, of, of the tree of the person who has died. I get you. I get you. Reverend, you want to add something? Yeah. Or maybe we understand what the question is before maybe we move to getting how it is done or maybe the process, yeah. Actually, succession is a process. And it is a process by inheritance. Uh -huh. the, uh, an uncle is not uh, a son of uh, his brother <laughs> or his father or something like that. He's a brother to... Uh, to the children of uh, the father of these children who want to do the succession. So succession is an action of inheriting a title or property or land or something and uh, to the to the deceased. So kwa hivyo sio nasema huyu alikuwa my dad for the uncle albaye uh, alikufa sasa nitaenda succession. Hapana. It is uh, it is an inheritance from uh, from somebody that is uh, uh, completely uh, related to that uh, to that. I get you. Okay, of course, uh, people are also asking questions, ladies and gentlemen. You can also use the comment section to ask a question and give your view, and uh, they will be responded to. Uh, Kevin Wasonga is already asking a question there. I, I know, uh, engineer, you'll respond to this maybe as you explain the process, or you can as well maybe respond to it directly, you will choose how to do it. Kevin Wasonga is asking, what is the cost of succession? I'm dealing with a parcel of land, which I bought in 2021, January. The wife is alive, the widow is going to court tomorrow, asking for the general public. Uh, do you want to respond directly or you respond to it as you explain uh, the process that is involved in succession? Maybe as we do the process of uh, what happens in succession, 
then now we yeah. are able to to interact with the questions because uh, if we interact with the questions, we may not give the process. Yeah, actually, actually, give the process, actually. So, Kevin, from the process, somebody can yeah. you know, come in and uh, and interact with the questions. So, Kevin, just hold on your horses. Keep on following. We are going to respond to that question, and when we'll finally reach at that point. So, I just want to engineer to take us through this process of succession because of course when succession is taking place uh of course uh, you've told us uh, why it is important to do succession so i just want to take us through the process uh, 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 like what are the types of the property succession that happens when somebody dies uh, i understand that there are people who write a will when they die there are people who don't write a will so what is normally the process like what do where do you start from it's also My good, father, right? Bonaleo, Bonaleo, yes. it's also good to yes. mention that it is not just a process. It is a process. Okay. That, it is a process that leads to an action. I get you. So it's not just a a, a, a process. Alafu akuna kitu. The process about leads to an action of inheritance. All right. So, it's a process that leads to an action, and I think the engineer will, will elaborate on that more. Great. So, engineer, you can proceed and maybe tell us how this thing is normally like. Uh, thank you so much, uh, Mr. Leo. Also, Reverend, thank you for elaborating that um, we are not just doing um, you know, a process. It is a process that has results. It's a process that at the end of the day, there must be action taken mm -hmm. and uh, the transfer taking place from this hand to the other hand. And as I said, I said that um, we do this simply because uh, we want to uh, have the name transferred from the deceased to the alive people who are beneficiaries. We do this so that if we want to sell land, you can sell land, um, you own the property of the person and you can transact it with no fear. If it is land, a piece of land, subdivision can be done legally and um, you can own the property, the titles of the person who died legally so that you are not illegally in that piece of land even though you are the beneficiaries. Uh, so we as we go to the steps of um, a succession, um, as uh, Mr. Lewa said, there is that succession of someone who died and left a will. And that's the best because this person has already said my eldest son or my wife or my this son is the one who is going to administer my property. And already has said, Two acres of land will go to this one. This will go to that. I have twenty thousand uh, in the account. It will go like so. This will um, is perfectly already done, and this is what we call tested. Tested when when you have the will written, it's already in place either with the lawyer or with the beneficiaries. This is the easiest way because this one. You take it to for, for just gazettement. For gazettement, okay. it doesn't need a lot, but you go, of course, it's good to put it in the hands of the lawyer. So you wish, because of in case of any contention, in case of any contention, so that uh, mm -hmm. a lawyer can successfully say that this will was saying this, and we have to stick to that. Mm -hmm. Then you take this for. Uh, the gazettement, which takes like 30 to 60 days. And this is mm -hmm. for anyone who wants to say no and objections. That's why the notice is put there for 30 to 60 days so that whoever is objecting, it can be considered. Maybe there's somebody, maybe this man married another woman somewhere, he has children, and these children are not included in this piece of land. So this is the time for any issues to come up to object the will, to object the process. And if there is an objection within these the days, then this case goes to court. 
there is no process that is going to continue. But in case there is no objection, after those days, then you are called, the beneficiaries will be given uh, uh, like six months uh, by the, the court, six months to be able to call the surveyor, to be able to do the subdivisions. And so the court will write a letter to the Ministry of Lands who will issue the titles. They may be 10 titles, they may be 15, they may be two titles. Now, that's when now the beneficiaries, each of them is given their title deed, and then they are given their green card. Each one has a green card, which we say contains the information of the person who has the parcel of land, which contains the title. Mm. Okay. So get that to, is get for to. someone who has a will. Yeah. A will. Mm. What about someone who doesn't have a will? Okay, for someone who has a will, maybe a, a quick question. You said if there is no objection, meaning there is nobody who is also claiming uh, the same parcel of land that is supposed to be transferred. And if there is an objection, so what happens if somebody claims that, okay, this property belongs to me, yet uh, the deceased had the uh, all the documents uh, with him, you know, this person is now deceased. So who will be there to prove that the, uh, uh, the, the land belongs to the deceased, yet the deceased is not there? Uh, now we have the Tukona Wazewa Kijiji. Tukona Chiju. Tukona Neighbors. Tukona Wale Watu Wanazema. Uyum Tukona Walikuwa Ndiya Meishi Hapa. So Apo Sasa Watu Wale Wana Testify. They are the original people who know. Sana Sana Ni Waze. Wale waze wanaitwa vikongwe kwa sababu watu wanaamini mahali pana waze mamba ya haribiki uh, wanasema waze hawawezi kudanganya ni kama watoto unajua mtoto hawezi danganya so mzee ameona maisha hawezi danganya atasema kweli yule msaa alikufa ndiye alikuwa na hii shamba and, and the, the government will take it in will take it so this will go back to the ground because it's only the ground that can prove because the deceased is not there. And these people who are fighting or the ones who are objecting um, may not even be known to the people who are beneficiaries, you know. So the beneficiaries may not be able to fight for themselves, but now it has to go to the ground. It has the opposite. Get, mm -hmm. Get you. Reverend, you want to put some input before maybe now you take us through? There is no will. Somebody did not write a will, and obviously, you know, most Africans, eh? mm -hmm. uh, I, 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 I don't know if it is a mentality, in most of our African families, people do believe that will is for the, the rich. <laughs> people, <laughs> I think you get it when I talk about the rich, people do believe that, as a mimi, the only thing I own is maybe 10 acres of land and some three, four cows. So when you tell them about the will, they believe the will is uh, for people like... Uh, presidents and the such kind that they, they don't believe in this called will so majority don't write will uh, let, me, uh one, Manaleo, let, Manaleo, let me say this that actually the the illusion of it kwamba sisi ambao tumesoma tunafikiria wale watu wa zamani kwa sababu hawakuenda shule na waku wana mambo ya kama hawa ya will let me tell you especially from the Agekoyo point of view. Uh -huh. And I think uh, you guys can also testify in, the, in your own tradition. These people, walikuwa na will. It's only that it is not in the books like we have it today. In the Zamani, waze wa, walikuwa wanasema, eh, wakati nitaondoka, Hizi mbuzi zitakuwa hii mbuzi kumi itakuwa ya fulani. Hii shamba kutoka pale na paka hapa itakuwa ya fulani. In fact eh, kuna vitu wale ambao wasikizaji ambao wanajua in, uh, inheritance ya the, the traditional gikoyo eh, people. There was even uh, a time where uh, when we said uh, in the kikuyu wiki ya boho ni kama una, una ni, 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 ni zile seeds ambazo unasema unatupa unasema ikia mahali itanguka hapo ndiyo itakuwa ya frani 
na kuna wengine walikuwa wanatumia eh, yard sticks kwa hivyo uh, will haikuanza na wa, wasomi kama sisi ilianza zamani na part of eh, modernization ambayo imekuja even uh, wakati huo there were also chiefs uh, our leaders ya wazee kwa kijiji mambo mengi hata ya mambo ya ya harusi or even a lady has been eh, eh, kuna kijana amecheza na msichana na amepata msichana amepata miba eh, i do remember as a young man as a young boy i used we used to to attend those uh, meetings tunaitwa na wazee ili tuje tusikize vile wazee wana kesi kama wako na wanaendelea na kesi kama hiyo ndio tujue so those things were there they were in uh, they were in place uh, the whole area of succession it's only that it was not in records like we have today kwa vitabu kwa nini and i know even with the uh, the, the, the wakisi au uh, other tribes there were things that were done by the wazees even in those days so with the succession i think it's now streamlined in terms of law uh, you know in our country we had the the british constitution and those things were there they were streamlined we now have a new from 2010 we have a new constitution which is uh, uh, which is uh, a little bit different from what we had and these things are also streamlined kwa hivyo succession is a very yeah. a very good process is a very important process because it underlines uh, it it removes a lot of things that we assume in fact uh, i have just gotten a, a text from a friend uh, mm -hmm. i was somewhere in a, in one of the uh, the states here in uh, in, a, in the us and somebody was interested with the land Karambia, i have watched the program that you have uh, in africa uh, yes. the land you mentioned i would like to buy now can i get uh, the pin number your land okay. here can i get a copy of the title can i get yeah. a, a copy of the id yake Yeah. I also get a copy of the uh, the KRA pin number. Huyo mtu yeah. yuko hapa, yuko hapa of uh, America anahitaji hizo kwa mtu ambaye yuko Kenya just to be sure. Ana ana uh, atanunua shamba ambaye eh uh, iko na mtu ambaye yuko na hizo documents zote. Just because of the issue that we are going through if your succession in itself as a yeah. engineer, as an engineer has mentioned it is trying to unearth uh, kama daktari kama zimesema dr shamba wakati unaenda yeah, yeah. you don't go to the doctor unamwambia una, una i have diagnosed myself wao unahitaji daktari ajue uh, ni nini nimefanyika so that's exactly what we are doing great that one is well understood. Engineer, you can proceed. Yeah, uh, thank you, Reverend, for uh, that elaboration. Najua sisi wengine tulipo zaliwa, tuli bado atukufikia kidogo hiyo. Bila watu walikuwa nafanya vikao, lakini huwa tunasikia. Na kulingana na kwetu kwenye ninatoka, vikao kama hiyo wa mama wako wa wakalibie. Iyo ni manene ya wazee peke yake. Na it was a very, very genuine. It was very genuine and ilisuruisha mambo mengi sana. Kwa sababu hata sheria inatambua customer law, inatambua na sasa yeah. hawa kwa wengi wanajua kuandika lakini the word of mouth meant does it yes. na sisi tulikuwa tunaamini kitu ambacho mwenye amefariki amesema ukikaunta you can die laana sitakufuata so people fear that you know it's not like today where we say wacha ifanyike nitakuwa tupatane mbele mbele 
but uh, that time things used to work the way they used to work and uh, that was then but now because technology has really increased i can make a a, a title d mm -hmm. and things have become even more worse and uh, we, we now we need also to be knowledgeable you know as knowledge as technology advances we have to catch up with how uh, you know knowledge is advancing so that we can be on top of the game or else we can be shortchanged yeah. and you find yourself in a, a, you in the in the 1920s when people are in two in the millennium so yeah. uh, that's why we are really uh, you know uh, you know feeling like this knowledge people need to have it in their hands mm -hmm. and you find that most of the time you know you can buy land which has not been succeeded like you are total wakipata shamba wanaanza kuuza tu kwa sababu hata jasho wa kusweat maybe shamba baba alinunua sasa wanauza tu na watu wanasema eh hata wanauza cheap lakini hawajaitoa kwa mwenye alifariki Kwa hivyo ukinunua shamba make sure make sure just the way huyo mwenye ametuma text anauliza make sure hii shamba iko kwa jina ya nani ni huyu mtu wako hai ama huyu mtu amekufa kwaacha kutoa tu pesa ufuatilie kabisa mpaka ujue kwa hivyo tumesema hiyo ni ile wakati watu wameandika will na wakati ameandika will mambo inakuwa rahisi sana kwa sababu hakuna mtu anataka ku change the will vile imesemekana mm. na hiyo inakuwa inaenda haraka na watu wanapata vitu vile wanahitaji kupata mm -hmm. lakini kama hakuna will iliandikwa ambayo tumesema watu wengi hawaandiki lakini Mungu atusaidie sasa sisi ambapo tumejua that it is good eh, even to just say to just say this piece of land is for so and so this one is for so. you just yeah, say yeah. That, that even if you are not writing people will know exactly what is your intention kuliko unaenda tu kama hujajua kama mimi nakumbuka wakati baba yetu alikuwa kidogo ako hai kabla hajaaga eh, alisema yeah. hata akasema mahali atazikwa akasema hii itakuwa hivi itakuwa hii itakuwa na mahali atazikwa kwa sababu alikuwa not with one wife eh, na kuna vile tradition inasema kama huyu anaweza zikwa hapa lakini yeye alichagua ni kwa bibi mgani atazikwa and and it went yeah. like that. nobody could challenge it you know so such things are, are important for us to know and uh, to, to 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 know how our cultures work mm -hmm. our cultures work so that yes. said, uh, when we talk about the land that has no will or the property, it is called intested. Yeah. Intested uh, is where by the person just dies and there's nothing he has left, like what, what will happen mm -hmm. or how much do I have or who should have what. And in this yeah. case, now, the ones, the people who are supposed to succeed this land, they may be the sons they may be the, the the wife or the husband they go to the chief the area chief yeah the area chief who knows very well that you are sons of this mze mm. you go there they write a letter you go of course with your id because it's very official he writes you a letter which will help you to get these letters of administration which are going to help you to go on and do the statement so you, the first thing that you are supposed to have is a, a letter from the the chief if the chief no, uh, will this letter is introducing you to the government that you are the rightful person so in this case you may choose even four people uh, who are going to represent you uh, whom you believe in and once they get this letter now they can be able to go ahead and do the assessment because this letter now will go hand in hand with the title deed of the deceased person and now they can mm -hmm. go ahead and apply for assessment which will take the normal time of uh, 30 to 60 days also for any objection so if there is no objection this now they are allowed 
to agree now how are they going to subdivide because they don't have a will that says so and so take 10 so and so take nine so now they are the ones to sit down and now wakubaliane tutafanya hivi tutafanya hivi tutafanya kwa hivyo wanapewa miezi sita ya kujadiliana na kuelewana na kuitana savea after that they will go back to the court and they say we are all in agreement yeah if there is anyone objecting the court will take you back until all of you if you are doing it, you must say we are all in agreement and then you are already you have involved a surveyor and the surveyor has done the submission and has given a tentative you know a map that is not of course to scale that shows this is a piece of land. it's called a mutation actually a mutation shows the subdivision how it was done so that now the court will write a letter that accompanies that mutation with the names of the people and the number of acres it is going to get and the number of whatever is going to the property that was subdivided and then it's taken to the ministry of land mm -hmm. for of titles so mm -hmm. here the only difference the only difference between the person who didn't do the will and the one who did the will the difference is that the, the one who didn't do the will you must go through the chief. the one who did the will you don't have to go through the chief mm -hmm. and i think it's good to note uh, Banale, it's good to note that yeah. the key part is that this letter cannot be written by just anybody in the village it has to okay. be by the chief Mwenyewe, and it is not just addressed to anybody else it's addressed to the court now even in inside that letter it is verifying the author, the authorized person who is the deceased nini wale ambao wamewacha so uh, from the elder of Ziku uh, Zazamani, which we ha also had a leader in the village, that mm. is, today is the chief. And uh, now the biggest question many many of us have, some of the chiefs, in the, you are told to exactly. That is where I was going to. That's what I wanted to ask you, because some of the chiefs and the assistant chiefs we have currently, in the current system of government, Sio Kama Kitambo, when the chiefs were, were all the people who are married, they had families, they had a lot of information concerning the village. Eh? Nowadays, like I have a friend of mine, he's only 32 years old, he's assistant chief. He, he doesn't even understand the terrain of the village very well. So that one brings uh, another question that uh, I was concerned. Uh, engineer, I've talked of uh, gazettement. Once the letter has been addressed and it has been taken to court, it will have to be gazetted for about uh, 30 to 60 days waiting for objection. And in case there's no objection, then they can proceed. What happens? They, you know, when you go to the village, there are people who don't even read this gazette. They don't know this kind of proceedings. So you have a chief who doesn't understand the village well. And you know, the, the country that you're living, there's a lot of things that happen as long as you have money. So they go get in hold of somebody's, uh, the, the deceased title and such kind of things. Aren't you seeing a situation whereby a transfer is going to be done to a wrong person? Because the other person doesn't know there's, there, there, there are some uh, uh, gazettement that you need to check to go and object and such kind of things. People will come to you innocently that you see, I want to buy this land. Can I see the title? You show them the title. They see, okay, the title belongs to your grandfather or something like that because people are so ignorant. And I know a Futa chief who also doesn't know the village well. Then they do it on, on, uh, when you don't know. Yeah, and that's what we call corruption. And that, that, that's not what we are calling corruption. Because when you chief when you are Jew, you are going to be a Jew. 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 You are you count yeah. one, two, three, but even Yumbakumi around it there, these people know, like, you know, our ways cause a mutu and a jua, but even come away with chief, I could genuine. Nakuna vitu ahelewi. Nakuna hao, wana fuata, fuata, fuata. Unajua administration in a end, in a trickle down to that for Yumbakumi.
Yeah. Lakini sasa kwa sababu hiyo sasa tukiingia hiyo area, hiyo sasa hiyo ndio hiyo tunaita corruption yenye mtu hata anapata title ya mtu alikufa na hata say yeye si mwenyewe na hata ameuza ile shamba na ile shamba si yake even the uncles wameuza kama ni mwanamke a wife alikufa anatupwa nje ndugu zake wanachukua property ya the deceased na wapei watoto wa yule those are things now which are called corruption which which uh, maybe they are now beyond our scope but now our scope is like are we knowledging people to know that they should follow this process to be able to get a piece of land legally and those who are buying you should follow to know what this piece of land the title of this piece of land is the owner or it's genuinely transferred so that before you buy otherwise the other things which happen are a lot kwa sababu tunakuwa na title deed mbili atatu mtu anauza shamba mara tatu Kenya tu so that one now is is beyond our scope if i can help the engineer kidogo that's why the letter is addressed to the court it's not addressed to anybody else na hata huyu chief akiwa as young as they are some of them are very very good they they are also trained however the the court and our serikali recognizes the your court ya wazee wa nyumbani the the court never dismisses that in fact that there, there are times their testimony is very i mean they are, they are recognized in the court in the court of law uh so i think that helps uh, a little bit the other thing is that uh, let's not go ahead, uh, very much ahead of us because with succession there is something that the engineer will will come and explain which is called the search and the search is also uh, going to and uh, itatoa hizo vitu vyote ambayo tunaita corruption ina nini na nini kwa sababu kama title ilitengenezwa na computer uh-huh. uko kwa land haikutengenezwa na computer <laughs> ni, ni ile ni ile original ziko unasikia me she has mentioned yeah. something, something inaitwa green green card and maybe yes. yeah, you can uh, explain a little bit because uh, when Kenyans hear green card they think green about, they think of getting to america ya kuja america lakini hawajui kuna kitu kinaitwa green card huko kwa ministry of land au kwa survey uh, and so those records are very intact and i think the engineer can testify to us because she has she has been there over that years Uh, that uh, those are documents that are key and lock uh, or lock and key <laughs> whichever way, where you are see kitu ya kuwa tampered like that so i think that's uh, only addition i can give yes um uh when once once now that that letter has been written say from the chief uh and you have the title you do that the search to understand that uh, for real this title whatever is in the green card is what is on the title That's so this um the green card is a card actually it's a card and it's green in color but it contains information of whatever this piece of land is about it has if the if the piece of land had alone it is there any encumbrances is attached to this um any encumbrances is attached to this um the, the the green card so it's very important when you go and the registrar of lands is the one who keep this in his office under lock and key and it has only to be you know there is a procedure for you to be able to once the search is done they only print they give you a print they don't give you a green card they give you a print and uh, this print now explains to you uh, exactly what is all about the piece of land mm-hmm. yeah, so um that that green card is important it is in the ministry of lands and when you do the search is the search is to know what is contained in the piece of land mm-hmm. before you do anything before you transact yeah. so if this piece of land is held by the bank 
it is shown it is held by the bank so even when you as the buyer you are going to buy you are not only going to see whether it was succeeded or what you are also going to see you do a search to see if this piece of land is free is yeah. it, is it, does it have any issues uh if it has any issues it's always uh, in the ministry of lands yeah. yeah so um i i really wish that um uh, as we continue, maybe um, I will only answer the question of that one young man who asked a question. Yeah. Uh, and then from there, maybe we will continue uh, okay. at the time. And if there are any other questions, we will you, you just get it to through our presenter and he can post it to us. And then next time we will start with those questions before we move on to the next topic. But for now, I just want to answer the question of that, yeah, the okay, one. You can answer the question of the cost of succession. And uh, he said that he's dealing with a parcel of land, which he bought in 2021, January. Uh, the, uh, the wife is alive. So I think maybe the land belonged to the man and the man uh, passed without uh, writing a will. So in this case, uh, the wife is the beneficiary or something like that. And he bought the land from the widow. And maybe as you answer that, you can also maybe attach it to this. Uh, ha. What is it? Okay, I think it's the same. Uh, how much does it cost to file a, a, a succession case? I think it's the same question. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Yeah, it's the same question. Yeah. Um, uh, I, 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 I tend to understand that the question, uh, the first question is that uh, this person who is asking the question is interested in this piece of land. Yes. Um, uh, and there is someone who is a beneficiary who is the wife of the deceased. Yeah. Uh, so now I, I get also to guess or understand that this wife does not have, um, it doesn't have the, it doesn't have the, the, the will. It doesn't she doesn't have the will so if she doesn't yes. have the will she's going to go through what we just said so that she go to the chief she get a letter because she's the wife she get a letter she go to search she go to the court and then it, it, it is taken to for whatever process that we have said so that he can acquire the, the the this piece of land into her title before now she can subdivide it to the person who is uh, buying so she she has to go through the process she cannot just go to the general public general uh, because the general public cannot help she has to go to the chief she get the letter of administration and then uh, she can be able to administer accordingly so that this buyer can get a genuine title deed um the cost of um the cost of uh, uh filing i don't know but it depends because when i was in kenya things have changed now when i was in kenya just like 2019 20 there 2018 it was around 50,000 to 60,000 and also depending on where the land is but generally it was around you know like uh, the the piece of land in the in the in, in home, I mean in the rural area, it was around 50,000 to 60,000 and all the process will be complete. And you know this money, you don't pay like once, you pay like as you agree, opening the file, and then you would pay this and then the, it is the same. By the time it's in the you are paying, the money comes, so this lawyer will be able to help you to administer this land accordingly. So the cost is uh, relative. The cost, depending on the, the cost of the property, where you are, and also what you agree with your lawyer. The best thing, okay. the best thing to know is to know that uh, from each county, the cost is different. Be given some uh, environmental issues and also uh, about the fees and everything else. So the best thing is to go to either uh, uh the website uh, ministry or also google from different counties but what i have have seen is that uh, the fees are generally the same but there are some other costs that add depending on which county you are talking about 
Maybe uh, I, 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 they, I want to ask this question. Is it advisable to pay the vendor some deposit or money before the transaction is uh, concluded? Like in this case, the, the, the gentleman said you already bought the land, meaning you already paid some money. So what is remaining is doing the transaction. So between payment of the money and transactions, which one should come first? <laughs> Now that uh, we can say that uh, he has already bought the land and uh, he cannot reverse it and maybe bought it yeah. because, of course, he didn't have knowledge then, but now he has knowledge. Uh, now the, let, let him assist, assist that lady um, either by advice and in case she may need any financial assistance in case she, you know, because it's for his benefit. If that lady mm -hmm. succeeds to get that uh, piece of land into he, her name, that is to the benefit of the buyer because the buyer will be safe. So already now she he cannot reverse the the money which she he used to buy the piece of land. So now he has to cooperate and work together with this lady and knowledge, give knowledge to this lady and they get to know the steps she's taking so that he can help. He can help, he can chip in, you know, because he knows what he needs. Mm -hmm. Oh, that's great. That is great. That is great. So uh, you can chip in, then at the end of the day, they can organize and see how they can share the cost. Uh, there's also a question that uh, I was asked. I'm trying to look for it. Uh, okay, I have it there. That what consent, eh? what consent is needed? Eh? Uh, for you to successfully buy or sell land, that is from roots. What what consents are needed in order to successfully sell or buy land? Like you are talking of, there must be, I think, a land board chief who need to consent. Uh, you are selling a land. You have a spouse. I don't know. So, do we need some people to consent in order for this thing to be considered? It is now successful. Um, when we, when we are talking about um, a succession. Uh, yeah. They say no any other consent. The only there is no consent from anywhere. It's only that you must go through. You know those people who are beneficiaries. They must get an administrator who go to the chief and the chief know that this is so and so son or this so and so wife or this so and so husband. So now with succession, that is it. But now when we are talking about uh, the consent and all that, that is transfer of land, which we'll okay. talk another time. Transfer of land of is land. different from succession. Transfer so of land... So succession has to come first before we go to transfer, right? Um, succession is only for the dead. The dead. Yeah, the I'm person the dead, actually. We are only... The dead, only yeah. Sorry. For the dead, you have to do succession first before you do the transfer. That's it. That's it. Because that's was wakati ile title imebadilika na information imebadilika. Kuna ule mtu amekufa ko around hiyo hiyo property. Sasa hapo tutaenda sasa transfer. Ukitaka kuuza sasa, nani unauliza? Kwa sababu uuzi hivyo hivyo, ati kwa sababu sasa nimepata kwa ni jina yangu, mimi nitauza tu. It's not like that. So now with okay. that one, now we will talk about land transfer and what happens and what you are supposed to do. But now for succession, if, if anybody has questions now, ask around succession and maybe as I said, we may answer them uh, very soon, next week, because we'll have another, you know, next week. Yeah, so we will have another session. Uh, any uh, questions? Yeah, any questions on succession? Because I want to move from succession. We have really, you know, dealt with it because it was a really big thing so anybody who has questions let them put them down and uh, you get them to me as the presenter then i will be able to you know get them answers that's before we move to another topic i think that is great that one sounds great because uh, if i check we only have five minutes left so maybe i can give you an opportunity to uh, maybe just yeah, give a summary touch on something that maybe we've not touched on as we plan to 
uh, as we plan to wind it up. I can see Stella Wangari is also saying that you will need a confirmation of letters of administration. This will be used mm -hmm. to effect any transaction. I think uh, that one is responding to somebody who was asking for uh, things to do with the transfer, which will be uh, the next theme uh, in our next episode. Next week, I think we're going to look at uh, land transfer. So I'll give a reverend, then I'll come to you, engineer, just some uh, final remarks. You can touch on things that maybe you might not have touched on as we are winding up. Yeah, thank you very much. I just wanted to add that uh, as far as I think uh, engineer Mesema, the, the lady uh, and the man who is buying from the from the deceased lady, by uh, the, that case has moved from uh, tested to interstate because tested you have a will. Interstate is where you don't have a will. And uh, so I think uh, they need to begin it from uh, from that point where now uh, this this man is helping this lady uh, knowing that he can never go over her head as the the next of kin of the husband who has died you cannot dismiss dismiss her on a side to do what he needs to do so as the engineer has said he needs to work with her to be able to benefit uh, from owning uh, owning this uh, this land and uh, as i said you know if if issues come uh, to where they really cannot understand well this is where you need a lawyer uh, who is able to represent both uh, in terms of uh, issues of issues of law when it comes to interstate. Otherwise, I do agree with the engineer that uh, when it comes to buying and selling land, that subject is hot right now with all the many people who are buying, selling uh, plots and other things. Uh, mm -hmm. I do know some people who may, who have lost money uh, from those buyings and other things, and especially okay. our own people who are probably sometimes not able to travel to Kenya because of the status they are in, and they're sending money for buying land, which eventually uh, they don't get. So I hope our uh, uh, our viewers are really waiting for that and we'll have probably have more questions. Otherwise, thank you very much. This has been very productive. Thank you, Bona Leo. Uh, you've done a very, very, very good job. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you so much. Thank you so much even for creating time to come and enlighten uh, fellow Kenyans. I know it is not uh, easy to veer off your busy schedule just for the sake and for the love uh, of your country. Engineer, maybe uh, we can get some final remarks from you as you also try maybe to touch on some parts that you feel are not yet sent home. Yeah, um, I know always, you know, after you you lecture, once you do the lecturing, um, there are things may, maybe may not have been understood well. There may be things that may have been misinterpreted. Um, so we expect all diversity. I was a teacher also for surveying, you know, a lecturer for like 10 years. So I know that uh, I expect that, uh, you know, but I know that as we continue to get the feedback, um, we are here, we are here we are here we can we can repeat that we can you can ask anything until you understand because we are not completing the syllabus to do the kenya national examination council we, <laughs> we are just here to make sure that we reach you we yes. reach yeah. So that somebody somewhere has help. Somebody, that's the paramount um, feeling about why we are in this studio. That's the feeling. So everybody, whoever feels kama meachwa inje, araramike, tunaitaji hawa mararamishi through the feedback through our presenter so that we can be able to reach you. So we are not really in a hurry. We are not here to finish anything. 
we are here to just enlighten the public and also our friends, our brothers, our sisters. And as I said earlier, we are not Mr. No All. You know, ata madaktari, kuna gynecologist, kuna wana, badu wanaitu wa madaktari, kuna wa surgery, kuna, you know. So, uh, we, wherever that we are presenting is just to pass that knowledge so that mm -hmm. someone at least is able to know what is this and what is that. And as we move on, I believe we are going to treat you know the symptoms of the disease that may be uh, uh, you know some um, something that can be a terminal disease pertaining to shamba as we doctor this shamba we can be able to help otherwise thank you so much reverend thank you so much mr leo the viewers those who have listened to us and uh, take word and let people just listen we only need you don't pay this studio to listen you just listen you know so that you get that knowledge. So we hope that, um, and also give us the best time. Tell the presenter, what is the best time for you to be able to know this thing? And how can we reach the, the, the entire, you know, uh, you know, uh, Republic of Kenya so that we are able to get to know. And also those who are in diasporas, how do we reach you? Uh, go to these videos and get to know what is happening. Thank you and have a wonderful evening and those who are in diaspora you can have a wonderful day because this is morning thank you so much i appreciate look forward to thank seeing you. you thank you thank you so much uh engineer and the reverend for creating time so that we can have this kind of wonderful uh, discussion and to our viewers we appreciate you we appreciate your support i'm watching even as we connect you with african stories we say we're not only going to connect you with stories but we're also going to connect you with solutions so when you're having dr samba is all about giving solutions and unlocking the land dilemma you know land is one of the precious factors of production that we have in this country and somebody might not have money but they have land so it's something that is so cool that nobody would want to lose it nobody would want to engage in a, and in a, in a business that at the end of the day, you'll find that you've lost your money simply because of uh, ignorance. So we are here to ensure that you get all the information that is needed. And you can always reach us even when we are offline with the questions so that when you're having this kind of show, you will always get them answered. Apart from that, uh, I know in the next show, we are going to share the contacts of uh, Reverend and uh, engineer Mora, so that at your free time maybe you cannot be able to send an email or you cannot be able to comment on uh, the channels but you you need some specified uh, consultation or specified advice i uh, will be able to reach them despite the fact that we are miles apart we've been connected by internet so it is easy nowadays to call somebody who is in america call somebody who is in australia or somebody who is in canada when you are just seated back uh, at busia Mkuruini, or somewhere near kehancha so I just want to wish you a very wonderful evening, a good morning for the ones who are waking up now. Still, we meet in the next show. This was Dr. Shamba. So ensure you subscribe and wait for the next episode. Goodbye from this end.